Well, Wooly here. Okay. What I have, guys, is the Eco Mill 36 inch. Check this out. The Eco Mill 36 inch turns your chainsaw into a portable milling machine to take anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. Let us, I haven't even taken this out of the box, guys. Let's get it out of the box. Let's set it up. Let's see how easy it is to set up. If we have time, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a rip, guys. But if not, we'll definitely be giving it a rip in the next video. Stay tuned. Okay. Fits guide bar lengths from 18 inches to 42 inches, guys. And that is why I got the 36, right? These come in three different sizes, I think. Uh, this being the middle size. Uh, strong aluminium, lightweight frame construction, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and as far as I am aware, this is a, 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 a licensed copy of the actual Alaskan mill, okay? The brand. Yeah, let's open it. Oh, chainsaw not included. And that's it. Oh, free gloves, be Jesus. Okay, do you know it's 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 quite lightweight, right? Let us let us open it up. An oil kit, tool kit. Sorry, not an oil kit. No, I said oil kit. Wally can't spell. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of nuts and bolts for this thing. So we have a full detailed uh, assembly. Uh, instructions there go get cooter I don't want you I want cooter so uh, that I will try my best to follow guys and I'll try my best to speed up through it as well uh, these these things can be slow okay I'm gonna start with these guys it has measurements on it guys which is very important for me It comes with a spanner, a size 13 spanner. Okay, so it's very lightweight. Uh, the whole thing is made of aluminium as far as I can tell. And we have a spanner, okay. Coach bolts, one, two. Right, let's do it. This is the bit where I put it together and I, and I make a mess of it. Okay, Bruno, did you find cooter for me yet? No, you're too busy eating sticks. Good boy. No, 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 don't come on top of... Away, away, away. All right, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this sits in here like this. A flat surface would be ideal for this case, but obviously I'm in the forest. So this sits on like this. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. Okay. This is not straight. I need to level this up a little bit, I think. I forgot to what pot washers on. <laughs> so, I had to go to YouTube. Okay. So... I'm following a YouTube video by Chainsaw Bars. What they're doing is they're setting everything up on the right hand side like this. Putting this straight on. Now we're getting somewhere. And I feel like that is on the wrong way around. So we have these little U-boats. You bolts, not you boats. Okay, they're from World War II. I'm just gonna put this in here like this from the outside. Put it through. And that will hold this in place. Let's get two of these. 
and this will go the same on this side. Like this. One of the rubber caps on the bar is off, so. Okay, so here is the thing, right? I'm almost finished. And this was a little bit of a pain in the arse to put together, I have to say. It's not as straightforward as you would think, right? I really thought it, it would be very simple. It's not. Oh, and what makes it not simple is the instructions aren't great. And the video is a little bit, is not the same as the instructions. So I had to sort of figure that out a bit, right? So I'm going to put it all together. Here's the thing. Scrunch, scrunch fits, guys. Now, for me, this bit, so that goes like that. So what they're saying is that this bit goes like this, right? Sits in like that. There you go. Just tighten that up. It's not going to tighten up. It needs a break. And then you move this one down. So I put that on the wrong way around. Yes, I have. <laughs> right, let's do the other one. So what I did was I put the uh, I put this on the wrong side because I won't be able to read my calibrations if I have it on this side. So okay. So that's the basics of it, Jesus Christ. Okay, so the saw goes in here, you slide this bit up to fit the size of the bar that you want. So this, this whole side can slide up. You just have to loosen these things off a little bit, look. You loosen them off. I'm gonna set this up on the 24 inch bar and chain for now, guys, but I'll probably get a 28 inch bar, right? So look, slide this up. It is one of those days, hey. Oh, I know what's wrong. <laughs> I have to slide this up. So look, you slide this up. Fit the size of your saw, then you tighten it all down, okay? Tighten it all down. And that's you ready to rock, guys. Look, and we have calibrated sides here. The calibrations on the side to help you with, with how, how deep you want your uh, your boards. Oh, Jesus Christ, I've been on my knees a long time. Guys, that took quite a while to set up. Uh, but then I am a bit useless. I can be a bit useless at these things sometimes, but look that is it It is set up when I get the bar and chain and stuff on it guys Then obviously I'm going to tweak it a wee bit to, to make it run better or to make it sit better But yeah guys next time I'm going to be milling some wood class Thanks for watching guys stay frosty